Hello, welcome back to Birdies. I'm Dee and I really love birds. If you missed last week's episode, feel free to check it out here. We talked about makeup birds or secretary birds. But today we're here to talk about a brand new bird. Before we get into it, let's do a quick refresher on our bird rubric. The seven categories that we look at are bird smarts, bird call, plumage, eating habits, mating habits, flight patterns, and D's own bias, where I get to award extra points based off of fun facts that I can find. So what bird are we talking about today? This is actually a bird that I've gotten a lot of requests about. We're talking about pigeons. So what are pigeons? Pigeons are in the family Columbidae, and they have a lifespan of about two to three years in the wild. Though the oldest pigeon was 15 in captivity, they really don't have a very long lifespan. We see pigeons all over North America in cities, farms, parks, under bridges, but pigeons are actually native to seaside cliffs across the world in Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. Although they are typically found in farms and cities and whatnot, they can pretty much survive anywhere so long as they have adequate food and water. Let's get into category one, bird smarts. So pigeons are actually incredibly complex and intelligent animals. They are one of only a few species to pass something called the mirror test, meaning that they are able to recognize themselves in their reflection. They can also recognize each letter of the human alphabet, differentiate between photographs, and recognize specific humans in photographs. Pigeons are also renowned for their incredible navigational abilities. Not only do they use the sun to help them with navigating, they also utilize an internal magnetic compass. Pigeons will use landmarks at signposts and will also travel along man-made roadways and change directions at junctions or intersections. So for the bird smarts category, I'm going to give pigeons a nine out of 10. They're pretty impressive. Moving into category number two, we have bird call. Pigeons mainly coo. You're probably familiar with this if you've ever seen a pigeon. It's pretty recognizable. But what you probably haven't heard, or you have but you didn't realize it was coming from a pigeon, is their grunts. <laughs> Pigeons use these grunts to indicate danger or the fact that they are in distress to other pigeons. I just imagine being in like New York City and you just hear like, oh, it's just a pigeon. So for this category, there's not too much variation here, but the grunts are pretty funny. So I'm gonna give pigeons a four out of 10 for their call. Moving into category number three, plumage. Pigeons actually have a lot of variation when it comes to their plumage. They have several different types. There are even fluffy pigeons. I'm obsessed with them. And many of them have adapted to have white feathers on their rump, which is actually used to distract predators. In one particular study, scientists observed pigeons with both a blue rump and a white rump and they found that pigeons with white feathers on their tail were much less likely to be killed by falcons than the ones with blue feathers. There's also a question that people bring up pretty often regarding pigeons. Why don't we ever see baby ones? Well, it's not because birds aren't real and they're robots sent out by the government to spy on us. It's actually because unlike several other birds that will leave the nest after just a few days, baby pigeons will stay in their nest for up to six weeks. So by the time they fly the coop, they are already fully grown and have most of their adult feathers. So for plumage, I'm going to give pigeons an eight out of 10. I feel like this is the most variation that we've seen in a bird so far. It's just cool. Category number four, we have eating habits. Pigeons have been described as being true omnivores, which similar to crows, they can eat plants and animals. Basically anything that they can get their hands on or their wings on, they will eat. However, in practice, most of their diet actually consists of plant matter, ranging from seeds, grains, grasses, fruits, herbs, and berries. And then they will supplement this with the occasional meal of insects, snails, and earthworms. Gourmet. 
Another really fascinating thing about pigeons is their variation in size, which actually has nothing to do with how much they eat. It just happens to do with what particular breed of pigeon they are. But there are small pigeon breeds that weigh less than one ounce and larger ones that can be as heavy as 10 pounds. I want a 10 pound pigeon. <laughs> So for eating habits, I'm going to give pigeons a five out of 10. Into mating habits, pigeons mate for life. They have a tendency to raise two chicks at the same time. Now, both female and male pigeons will incubate and take care of their young. And once the chicks hatch, the male or female pigeon will feed the babies something called pigeon milk. Now, only mammals produce genuine milk but pigeons are able to stop. I'm sorry. Pigeons create this in something called the crop, which is a part of the esophagus that they can use to store food for later. It's a food that has the nutrients, proteins, antioxidants that the babies need to be able to grow up big and strong. So for this category, I'm going to give pigeons a six out of 10. Category number six is flight patterns. When it comes to flight, pigeons are actually really crazy. They can fly at altitudes of up to and beyond 6,000 feet. They can also fly at an average speed of 77 miles per hour, but the fastest pigeon was recorded going 92 and a half miles per hour. They also saved multiple lives during World War I and II thanks to their incredible navigational skills. They transmitted countless messages in numerous theaters of operation, and as a result, contributed very heavily to the Allied war effort. During World War II, 32 pigeons were decorated with something called the Dickin Medal. Stop laughing! <laughs> as against war as I am, I respect the hell out of those pigeons. So for this category, I am going to rate pigeons a seven out of 10. And now we're into D's own bias. So my first fact in this category is that pigeons have really, really good hearing abilities. They can hear frequencies far lower than humans and can sense distant storms and volcanoes if they're near a volcano or kind of near a volcano, I guess. My second fact is that despite their association with being dirty and disease ridden, there's actually very little evidence that shows that they contribute to that in any way. They are very, very clean birds and I love them. So my last fact is my favorite one so far. In 2017, scientists did a study on pigeons to see if they could differentiate between space and time. For this experiment, they would flash digital lines on a computer screen for either two seconds or eight seconds. The line displayed on the screen for two seconds was much shorter than the one displayed for eight seconds. They found that the more time a line was displayed, the pigeons were able to judge that the line was also longer. This was also true for the reverse, where if the line was displayed for a shorter amount of time, they came to the conclusion that the line was also shorter. Through this, the scientists were able to conclude that pigeons are able to differentiate between time and space, and researchers have noted that the only other species that are really able to do this are humans and other primates. Now, humans process these concepts using something called the parietal cortex. Pigeons do not have a parietal cortex in their brains, so scientists aren't entirely sure how they are able to judge these concepts. And that is so cool. So for this category, because pigeons are awesome, I'm giving them an extra nine out of 10 points. And with that, we are done. We've gone through another bird. After tallying up the scores, pigeons today get a 6.9 out of 10, which is the highest rating that we've gotten so far. It's so close to being a seven. Uh, with that, let me know what you would rate the pigeon and leave me suggestions for what bird you think I should do next week. Also, as always, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week.